We are eating our breakfast here this morning where several hours ago, people woke up very early after sleeping all night on thin mats inches apart. These are our neighbors, these are our friends. A lot has changed in the 33 years, but one thing has not changed, and that is the depth of support that I can feel in this room and that we feel across the community. It's all about community, and it's all about the people within the community who make things happen. Today is a great, great example of all the people who care deeply and the great work that's done. We are at our absolute best when we take care of the people most in need. Uh, because that is, a, I think, a commitment that we have always had in the city of St. Paul. And it was the commitment that led to the creation of the Dorothy Day Center here on the site many, many years ago. Too often people think we can only have social justice at the expense of economic growth and vitality, or only economic growth and vitality at the expense of social justice. And I'm here to tell you, we need both. In 2011, for the first time ever, we had to turn people away from the Dorothy Day Center. That was a disturbing wake-up call for those of us close to the Dorothy Day Center. In 2012, we reinvigorated this breakfast to bring the community together. The chairman and CEO of Ecolab uh, was our keynote speaker and was a signal that the community itself was engaging again in the future of the Dorothy Day Center and what was happening with poverty and homelessness in our community. And last year, of course, Mayor Coleman brought together Matt Kramer and Carlene Rhodes and established a task force that called us together and said, we can do better. I hope next year, when we gather on another, another great spring day, we are, we are able to uh, have you exit and provide you a shovel that will then allow us to go not far from here and break ground to help make that revision a reality. And the next year after that, we gather here, perhaps for the last time, and we go next door to cut a ribbon because we have seen the fruits of our labor. And thereafter, we gather in a new place that we are proud of because it is fulfilling our mission of recognizing the inherent dignity of those who need hope and help from this community.